Today we actually brought together a group of almost 135 realtors from across the province who all have one thing in common. They want to work together to make Manitoba a better place to live. The Manitoba Real Estate Association is really a microcosm of the province. We are citizens of the province. Morning, Dave. So we've taken an active role in determining issues that promote um, the quality of life uh, of our citizens. We've started what we call the Manitoba Realtors Network. That basically is a support for the MPAC committee, which we have as a political action committee of the Manitoba Real Estate Association. I know we're in for an exciting afternoon. And we brought in a whole lot of speakers on different topics. What percentage do you think we can draw downtown if we have the right policies, if we have the right programs? Mostly on building relationships with the community and with parliamentarians. Are there some great things happening in this province? Absolutely. Uh, are there some challenges that we have? There's no question there is. So the reality is, is we as leaders uh, from the private and public sector, we have to set the bar high. We've got some important issues that we need to take to our elected officials that we feel involve everybody. Not just realtors, everybody who's out there as a taxpayer, everybody who sends somebody to school. Improving education. Uh, looking at job training is important. I think realtors are in a unique position where they're based in the community, they're hearing from residents uh, on a day-to-day -day basis about what some of the challenges that they're seeing, and they're really that barometer for the community as well. Their ears are to the ground, they have a great understanding of what community, what people want in this city, and so they have to take that information and be, be part of the conversation, and ask the questions, and, and challenge the policy makers, and come up with the creative ideas. How many buses do we have to buy to service the suburbs? How many flowers do we have to buy? How many snow plows? Legislative bodies, your, your different levels of government are, are all affecting part of your day-to-day -day life in a community. So it is important for us to be involved, to, to be aware of not only what's happening in a community, when you're buying that property, backing onto green space, is it going to stay green space? Um, to be abreast of that, but also to be abreast of upcoming changes. I don't know how many of you know this, the Home Buyers Plan was created by realtors. In 1992, it was an idea that realtors had and took to the government. Remember, there was a recession then, we were sort of coming out of it. They said, what about this program? Take money from your RSP to buy a home. A realtor has to be a lobbyist because they are the best representatives of their community to their MLA, to their councilman, councilwoman, or to their MP. Politicians want to hear from people in their community. The advantage realtors have is they are in every community in Canada. So it's an important factor that differentiates realtors from any other lobby group. It's not just about a transaction. It's not just about sign goes up, house gets sold, moving on, next one. You don't just buy a house. You're not just buying four walls and a roof. You're investing into a community. And so if you have an idea, or an issue you want to pitch, you kind of need to know, you have to, need to build relationships with reporters. Um, if you see a reporter that's written or done TV stories about um, housing issues, like, like I do, you can fe always feel free to send an email, pick up the phone, say, did you know this is something, an interesting issue. You folks have a million stories that you don't even realize are stories. Take a couple of issues and, and, and drive it. Make people available. I've always been a very strong proponent of being involved uh, in the community, giving back to the community. So don't be afraid to talk to the politicians out there. Tonight we all gathered at the Human Rights Museum because it's really important for us to connect at all levels, from the people who are working in the area, people who live in the area, to our government officials who uh, make policy that affects the area. I really think it's important that everybody realizes that Manitoba Realtors are committed to our province. We want to affect change and we want to affect change for the better.